Why is SafeMoon's price still so low? Let's talk about it on Kyle Talks Money. The reason why the price is still low. It's still like 10 months on and it's difficult and confusing for the average person to buy SafeMoon. When we finally get listed on large and popular exchanges, that's when the price will rocket up for two main reasons. One, it will be so much easier to buy. Two, people will associate a large exchange listing with more legitimacy. If, insert exchange name here, trust SafeMoon, then it must not be a scam. By large exchanges, I'm referring to ones the majority of people actually use to do their trading, Binance, Coinbase, Kraken, Crypto.com, and potentially KuCoin to name the main ones. We can talk about how good the wallet is, the upcoming SafeMoon exchange, or the blockchain all we want. However, what is stopping us is the ease, or lack thereof, of buying SafeMoon. Should the SafeMoon exchange strive to be the main exchange for new low-cap coins? I think the SafeMoon blockchain should strive to take a piece of the Binance smart chain. Why not host all the meme coins and profit from every Shiba, Bonk, Baby, Doge, etc. that pops up every day? Quadrupled my bag during the dip. You can whine about the dip, or you can take advantage of it. That's the point. It's on sale. Getting in at times like these is how you make money. You don't jump on a coin after it goes 1000x, hoping that it will keep going on and on. Mandela and Binance. Okay, so I'm going to prefix this with I am an idiot and this is just speculation with no merit at all, so let me put that out there on a tinfoil hat. Okay, so Mandela is powered by Binance Cloud, so clearly they have a connection or bridge to one another. So what if SafeMoon is getting listed on Mandela with tokenomics and then Binance creates an option on their platform to buy a SafeMoon variation of some kind that can be easily transferred to Mandala and you can start getting reflections on Mandala's platform. Because I believe Binance doesn't want to really do tokenomics at the moment, but if their cloud exchange is willing, they could work in harmony. Just this random thought made me curious to hear opinions or if someone can clear up how Mandala and Binance work together. The artificial SafeMoon ecosystem. With the addition of enhanced token to the SafeMoon swap, we are seeing an artificial ecosystem of sorts being built around SafeMoon already. By holding enhanced token, you receive more reflections to your SafeMoon, therefore increase the value of your SafeMoon. It's interesting to see this happening so early on in the project's development and without the release of the actual SafeMoon ecosystem that is being created. Simply by using its own swap, SafeMoon is receiving benefits of people trading other tokens and coins on it, not only from perks like from Enhance, but from the swap itself having a function that benefits SafeMoon. This feature reinforces its position of becoming a self-sustaining platform that an ecosystem can thrive on. I'm excited to see and experience what can develop as we all hold through the years. Finally, stop posting negative things about SafeMoon. What's up with all the negativity? The only thing you need to do is hold. The team will take care of the rest and you make millions. Please, next time you comment something that can be interpreted as negative think, think about the potential new investors who come to the subreddit. So many great projects that's about to come, so there's a strong chance the price will go above $1. We need it to be positive from now on. We are a family and we take care of each other. So what are your thoughts? Why has the price of SafeMoon been so low lately? Comment your thoughts below. And as always, take care of your money.